starting a new project and I'm going to try to bring you along for the ride on this one. I'm making a loading chute for my neighbors. So I have this old cultivator frame here that I'm going to use for the base of it. I'm actually going to add another section to it. This thing is going to be around 20 foot long. I haven't quite got the drawing finished, but I thought I'd clean up these frames so I would know a better dimension of what I can go for the base before I figure everything out. So I'm going to plasma cut a whole bunch of these hangers and stuff off of this thing, and hinges, mounts, whatever is all on here, and make it a level frame, and cut off the ends. This morning I brought in the second section of that cultivator and I'm going to do the exact same thing I did to the first section, just clean it all off. Anything excess I don't need cut off, you know. And uh, set it down on the ground and probably weld it to the other one. I haven't decided I'm going to weld them together or bolt them together. I'll probably weld them together, just make it all one unit. Um, I'll end up with something about 21 foot long and six and a half foot wide then, which is almost exactly what I was going for. That's a pretty good sized pile of dirt and shavings from cutting this thing up, trimming down this frame, however you want to word that. Uh, and I just realized something while I was getting ready to move these frames around, that the frame back here on the ground actually needs to be where we're standing. So i got to figure out how to switch these two around.
This is going to be a difficult project to film. I can't get my camera far enough away from it. So there it is, the two frames sitting together. Yeah, to cut out this cross member here. Because it's in the way. Cow's hoof could get stuck between those two. I didn't think this through good enough. I brought in the pipe kind of at an angle this way instead of straight in. And I just realized that I have room over here to go further down the line and make my next cut and set up my stands and everything else I need to do. So, ah, uh, that was not thinking. I have it up on all the stands now. And there's a bunch of pipe cut up. My wind's coming up, blowing the door shut. So, I guess uh, I was really hoping to get this arch stood up and welded in place, at least spot welded all together. <sighs> kind of disappointed I didn't get that far, but that's life, right? All right, see you another day. Well, we're getting back at this, y'all. Had a pretty crazy weekend. But over the weekend, I did manage to buy myself a new toy. Bought myself a Milwaukee portable bandsaw. 
been wanting one for years, just keep putting it off because I think, ah, I'm getting by without it. And I used it real quick just to try it out, make sure the machine works, and I like it already. Totally impressed with it. Um, but anyway, you'll see more about that in this project, I'm sure. More importantly, I made a mistake on this project already. So, it's a good thing I didn't get those arches welded together Friday like I was hoping to. Because I gotta make them a little bit taller. So, we're gonna start on that this morning. I think it's getting to be time for a new blade. That chunk of metal is heavy. It's three by five rectangle with three eighths thick walls. I didn't think it'd be that bad when I started moving it around, but I didn't think it'd be that bad just looking at it and start moving around. I was like, there's some weight to that stuff. I'm gonna notch the ends out, and this will be the front plate for when the semi backs up to this loading chute. It'll hit that thing, hopefully. Electrode must be wore out. It ain't cutting for beans. Electrode wasn't worn out. It come unscrewed. That might make a difference. getting there. Maybe the other side will go easier.
blowing in now. And just to give you a little better view, that's going to be the arch, the upright, whatever you want to call it. This will be the tall one that'll load into the semi, and beside it will be another arch that will just go straight into like a normal couch, whether it's low to the ground. It'll figure out as we go, hopefully. So I'm going to slide a pipe inside there, just extend this up. Two and three eighths. Oil filled tubing fits inside two and seven eighths oil filled tubing almost perfectly. So this will get me up taller and get it over the guy's head, and I won't lose any strength that way because it's just you know a smaller pipe there at the very end. Be no problem. And I squished some other pieces for the header, whatever you're going to call that, and we'll just weld all the guys. Six and a quarter, so <sighs> seven, two and a half. Oh, clear his head. Sounds, but I think I might leave it for now. 
I have to do some welding over here. Now I should take the time and set up and get some nice close-up footage of these welds, but I really feel like I'm in a hurry right now, so I'm just going to give you an overview of how this project is built. Not really any good welding data, you know, not really any good welding footage or anything like that. So. Sorry I'm in a rush. I hate being in a rush when I make a YouTube project, but sometimes that's how it works. I'm quite happy with that. Not too much splatter. Looks like it's filling in good. Well, I'm gonna do a whole bunch of welding. I'll bring you back when I set this arch up and get ready to put it in place. Yeah, the wind really started blowing my gas away, my argon away from my, my argon away while I was welding, so I had to close the door and kick on the exhaust fan. Really need to make this exhaust fan permanent one of these days. Works pretty good though this way, but permanent would be better, right? Okay, I am done welding this arch up as much as I'm going to do with it laying down. There's actually a couple spots I'm going to weld once it's upright because it'll be easier. Just going to figure out how to hook it onto the hoist and lift her up. Which will be interesting because this arch is over 10 foot long and my beam has 10 foot 2 inches of clearance. So, yeah, we'll see what I end up doing here. I just realized something. If I put the arch on that side of the crane, the hoist, I'm not going to be able to get it out of the shop. So I got to take that booger back down and put it on the other side of the I beam. These welds up here are the ones I did when it was upright, this curve around the pipe. I figured it'd be a lot easier when it's up here than you know laying on the side. So I have the dang thing welded in place now finally. 
Uh, it actually worked a little better having it on this side of the I-beam anyway because I could actually rest it against the door and then put the trolley in place. I didn't record all that. So there it is. Um, I'm going to take a break. And we'll see you later.